What is up everyone? It is Drew here from Lone Fox and the first thing you might be noticing is Drew are you outside? Are you inside? What is the tea? I'm currently outside because I'm actually staying at my friend's house for the weekend But I wanted to film a quick intro and outro So if you've never been to my channel welcome I create DIY and home decor content every single week on this channel So if you'd like to you could subscribe using the subscribe button below leave a thumbs up on this video a comment Whatever you want to do this is gonna be another sort of re-upload I guess you could say and a lot of you guys are probably like what are you talking about? So basically on my old channel, which is Drew Scott I still have it. It's my men's fashion channel, but I shouldn't say old channel I still currently have that channel on my channel prior to this one Which this one's a lot newer I used to post DIY content quite often and I would also mix in my men's fashion content So it was like a mixed channel and after a while I just decided that I wanted to split up the channel So one channel was turned into Lone Fox the one you're currently on and one is my other channel Which is Drew Scott, which is all men's fashion and lifestyle, which is still very active I post on there still to date But the thing is is that I did have a lot of DIY projects over on the channel that I love that I actually unlisted about two years ago so they've been offline for a long time and I just want to repurpose some of them so basically what I did was I went through a lot of those videos I cut out projects I really like and I'm combining them into a video so today is sort of like a re-upload but a lot of these projects are still super fun super fresh super on trend very affordable and great room decor ideas for you guys and another reason that I'm doing this today is because I've been working on four really large videos simultaneously at the same time that are just a lot larger scale videos that take me a couple of weeks to film as opposed to a couple of days so I haven't been able to post in a while and I just felt really bad and I wanted to get something up for you guys of course so this is kind of like a little re-upload but the projects are still amazing I'm re-editing it too um, I'm redoing the music redoing the voiceovers and everything so it should feel a little bit fresh this is not going to be an often occurrence on my channel at all so don't think that I'm going to be consistently posting old content um, I've only done this one time before but I really wanted to do this just because I haven't uploaded in a while and I felt like I just needed to upload and my other videos are not done yet I just didn't have anything to post so this is going to be sort of like a mishmash of really fun DIY projects for you guys and I think I think we should just get started. To start off this project, I'm using some quick dry concrete powder, um, and I'm gonna mix this up with some water to create our very own concrete. And the thing that I love about working with concrete is that it is so affordable. The entire bag cost me $6, and I've probably used it for over a year now. Like, I swear to you guys, I have been using concrete forever, and this bag has lasted me such a long time. And you just mix it up with water until you get this sort of perfect, sort of very thick paste consistency, but it's still runny and like pliable. And then what I do is I take a gallon Ziploc bag, and I'm gonna pour this mixture inside of it, and the less amount of concrete you add, the thinner it will be, and the more amount of concrete that you add, the thicker this will be. So depending on what tray you want to make, um, if it's thin or thick, you could do that. Um, but you can also think about doing this with Ziploc bags and make little tea light holders. I just decided for this project that I wanted to make it a larger, more tray shape. So what I did was I flattened it out on a uh, flat surface, and then I went in with a pair of scissors to poke a couple of holes just to release as much air as possible. And then I used a heavy weighted sort of circular object right in the center. That way, when it as it dries it kind of cures around this and creates sort of that tray divot which is great for your keys or your wallet or like rings or whatever it may be depending on where you're gonna put this item and then once it's completely dry after about six hours you could take it out and you have your brand new concrete tray perfect for styling on a coffee table or in an entryway To start with this next project, I am using a canvas, some yarn, some spray adhesive, white spray paint, and a pair of scissors. And what I'm starting off by doing is taking my yarn and just creating very organic shapes. I'm just creating like loops and strands and layering it on top of each other and just sort of letting it fall wherever it wants to fall. Like I don't really care where it goes. I'm just trying to create a lot of visual interest and 3D element. And this canvas to me is a great standalone piece, but it's also a great piece for like a gallery wall or to layer on a shelf or whatever it might be because I think it has a lot of visual interest interest um on the canvas of course and I like the green color against the white because once we actually spray it with white it kind of creates a very soft minty color and I'm going in now into sort of uh, freshening up some of the edges, making some of the loops look a lot nicer. I just love the way this looks. I think it looks very artistic and something you'd see in a museum and be like, oh, I can recreate that. So I'm going to probably do it like in a DIY project. That's exactly what I did here. And I layered a couple coats of a spray adhesive and just let it dry in between sort of to create a kind of like a rock barrier on the entire thing. And then I went in and I sprayed over the top of it with some white spray paint. And once it's completely dry, it'll be nice and set and look amazing.
What you're gonna need for this project is some wood pieces, paracord, spray paint if you want to, wall hangers, and scissors. So what I started off by doing was spraying one of my wood pieces. This was a scrap piece of like two by four that was just like randomly on the ground outside. I literally swear to you, I found it outside. And then I'm using some hammered finished spray paint to just spray over the top of this. But I also found these little wooden signs at Michael's and you can use coupons for these. So you can use like a 40% off or a 50% off. And it was like $8, so maybe $4 in the end. And I used some paracord. And what I'm doing is I'm looping it around one side, holding it in the top center, looping it around the opposite side, pulling it up to the middle so that you have basically the uh, loops on either side to hold either edge and then tying a knot in the center top. And this just kind of has to be perfectly placed in the center because you want the weight to be distributed equally. And this is what the shape looks like once you're completely done. And then you can go ahead and hang it up with a little hanger and you can secure the strings on either side with some hot glue on the underside, or you can just balance your objects on top of the shelf and just make it work, which is exactly what I did. This last project was inspired by my old job at West Elm. We did this as an installation once and I used some Dixie cups, some wood beads, string white paint, paintbrushes, scissors, and some hot glue. So what I started off by doing was just gluing together two of these little miniature cups to create the bead shape. And this is exactly what we did. What we did after this was just paint all of our little beads white. And I just used some simple Craft Smart white paint. And I just went over the entire shape of this with some white paint. And I think I gave each one maybe just one or two coats. I don't exactly believe. I think it was just one quick coat on all of them. And then what I did was I took my string and a spare piece of wire and I used a little bit of tape. And this is just kind of to create a faux needle because we basically need to thread through our string on a really long surface. So I threaded through a couple of wooden beads and this is kind of gonna be the spacer between the actual handmade bead. So I did a couple of wooden beads and then poked a hole on each side of the cup just as shown here with the scissors. And then I strung it through. That's where the wire comes in handy. And we're just creating a garland. And this project is great if you wanna put it over the top of a fireplace, over the top of a mirror. If you wanna use it for a birthday party, you can customize the colors, customize the shapes, add different beads if you want to. It's just like a fun idea I thought I would share with you guys because it's a great affordable way to create a DIY garland that looks sort of handmade and fun. So that is exactly how you finish off the project by looping your thread through at the end and then hang it up however you desire and you are good to go. And that was today's video, guys. I hope that you really enjoyed it. Um, I swear this is not gonna be a common occurrence of re-uploading. I don't like the idea of re-uploading at all, but sometimes as a solo creator who does everything myself, I do all the room designs myself, all the DIY projects myself, all the editing, coloring, videography. I do absolutely everything myself. So when I have larger scale projects that take multiple weeks or like a couple days to film, sometimes it's nice to just go back to some of my older content that is still super high quality and amazing and just repurpose it because a lot of you haven't seen it and I would love for you guys to be able to watch that content again because it's really amazing and I think you guys can definitely benefit from it, of course, which is why I'm reposting it. If it was bad content, I would have never reposted it. And that's today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Um, if you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below which was your favorite project in the video. I would love to know as well. And don't forget to also subscribe to my channel for brand new videos every single week on DIY and home decor. Guys, I have some really amazing transformations coming, room transformations with other YouTubers. Yes, I'm gonna have a collab that I'm filming next week. I'm so excited for it and I also have a really large makeover in my own personal apartment that you're gonna see very shortly as well so stay subscribed stay shooketh and um, I think I'm gonna catch you next one okay bye guys <laughs>